hope for a repeat of their 2012 success in this competition, in this iconic venue. Wembley, the home of football, the dream of so many to play here. Those who get the chance are desperate not to waste it, mindful they might never get back. An opportunity to seize and, of course, make the most of. Adam Virgo, I'm sure you can relate to just how these players are feeling right now. Yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic achievement and an occasion to, to play at Wembley. As I said in the, the Vars final earlier, some great players never get this opportunity. We had Julio Arca, first time ever, and he put it up there with his highest achievements of playing in the Premier League with Middlesbrough and Sunderland. It's fantastic for all the players and friends and families. Formalities. Today's presentation party includes Philip Smith, the FA Trophy Committee Chairman, Greg Clark, the FA Chairman, who we heard speaking to Natalie earlier. 276 teams entered this season's FA Trophy, the first games back in October. Now it's all down to this, should be a really good contest. It's Morgan Smith racing through, what's he brought down there? Referee says no, immediately the challenge was by the captain, Halls, but that's a big call inside two minutes. Well, my initial reaction is straight away, but he certainly has a case for a penalty. Really does. You ask the question, why would he go down in that situation there? The moment. Holmes, that's a really good cross in towards Parkin! It's his first significant effort. And John Parkett continues this rich vein of goal scoring for. Five goals now in four games. And he opens the scoring at Wembley against one of his former clubs. But if you put a ball of quality in like that, nine times out of ten, he could possibly be scoring. He's just come back, possibly into an offside position, back onside. But he does brilliantly to pin George Pilkington. I mean, it's a very, very close call to give. But it's a quality ball in from Danny Holmes. And all you've got to do is just add that bit of quality on. And wide by Norburn to Fitzpatrick. Hancox, who's got Holroyd in the middle. Heslop was the defender. I think it's a real area that Macclesfield can certainly exploit. John Parkin's goal after eight minutes, the difference between Macclesfield Town and York City. Macclesfield trailing, but have acquitted themselves pretty well in the early stages of this game. Can they get themselves on terms here? And it clears by Oliver. It's come out to Brown. In! An element of fortune about it. Big question marks over the goalkeeper. But see if Macclesfield can. Reese Brown with his fourth goal in this season's FA Trophy has the silk net on terms. But what he does brilliantly, he doesn't get drawn towards the ball when the cross comes in. He's looking for that second ball that York defends. All you've got to do is just hit the target. He's on the edge of the area waiting for those second balls. Hit the target, you give yourself that opportunity. You're looking at Carl Leatherman, I think, to be doing better than that. But he reacts well, you hit the target, you give yourself half a chance. He started brilliantly, went a goal behind, probably against the runner plate. 15 and Halifax against Grimsby last season. His whole road from Athersfield, he will go on, he goes down. No penalty. I think it's quite clumsy from Jan Kukowski. It's just always very, very dangerous when you do that, you stick an arm across him, you're not really going for the ball there. Park it. The ball by Holmes and Newton. As for Dane Oliver in the middle, that's who he looked for, and he found him and he scored! York City back in front. It's for Dane Oliver with the goal. And that will make up for him personally for the disappointment that he suffered when he missed a guilt edge chance on that final day when York were relegated. A lot of it will take all the credit, but it's Sean Newton, really. When the ball goes into parking, when he holds it up, what you need to do is get a runner in beyond him, and he just runs off Kingsley James. He's looking around him, saying he needs someone to pick him up. 
It's a brilliant ball across. No, you know he missed one against Forest Green with an open goal. But that... One last attack here, perhaps, for Macclesfield at the end of this first half, which has been keenly contested. Brown's ball inside to Norbert. Plenty of players on the edge of the area. Whitaker. Norbert tries one from distance! Amazing hit from Oliver Norbert. The hero of the semi-finals in the FA Trophy for Macclesfield. He's produced again on an even bigger stage at Wembley at the National Stadium and just before half-time. Well, we saw some quality goals last Sunday in the promotion final. And again, this is right up there. I wonder if the sun again interferes with Leatheran. Straight down his neck. Again, I'll be looking for him to at least get something on that. It's, it's a great strike, don't take that away. But I think it's so close to the goalkeeper, Adam. He should be saving that. Good experience to be able to bring on, though, isn't it? A player who's been here and done it for York City in this competition. Holroyd finds Whitaker, who will drive it in. Nice. Well taken on that occasion by Leather. That's a good area, isn't it? Danny Whitaker getting into. Macclesfield. Sent in there by Norburn. Parking back, defending. Whitaker on the edge of the area. Well, he did brilliantly well to keep that second ball there. Well, Chris Holroyd, I think he thinks it's going in, that's why he leaves it. You just see him there, just by the post now. And Holmes with the throw in. Headed in field by Fitzpatrick. And now it's Moke. Now it's Asa Hall. Not too far away, that. It's a good play there from Moke. Just allowed the ball to run across him. Put Asa Hall in there. Oh, he's ever going to really test Scott Flinders there. It's well played by Chris Holroyd. Reese Brown goes beyond him. Whitaker is central. Here is Brown. And still Brown. And Hancocks! Good stop by Leather. What a great play again from Reese Brown. That composed pass there to Mitch Hancocks, but you've got to give credit to Carl Leatherham. Great save from him. You just need that little bit of luck that it doesn't fall to an incoming Macclesfield player. Balls with the cross into a good area. And Kingsley James off the line. Ben Sharif making sure Macclesfield don't go in front. Well, this is just unbelievable defending there from Ben Sharif. He wins the first header. Sent long by Ben Sharif up towards Parkin. It's fallen nicely for him. It's John Parkin! It's deflected and in! York City have done it again. They take the lead for a third time in the final at Wembley. The question is now, can Gary Mills' side hold on to the lead? Well, again, he's been pretty quiet this game, John Parkin. Did Connolly get the last touch before he went over the line? But they won't really seem to care. They won't seem to matter. Just that long ball towards Parkin. Just does brilliantly to wrestle McComb off it. It's a brilliant block there from George Pilkinson. I think Connolly's just nicked that off him. <laughs> He's a brave man to take a goal off John Parkin. You follow in. He's just got himself a goal at Wembley. They really just need that bit of quality in the final third. Whitaker. It's York City's day. FA Trophy winners for the second time in their history. Gary Mills has done it again. A winner here in 2012. He's repeated the feat in 2017. From the utter dejection of relegation three weeks ago to joy and elation at Wembley for those York supporters. Smiles restored. Positivity to take forward. But what disappointment from Macclesfield, we should say, as well. Their 20-year wait for silverware goes on. Two-time FA Trophy winners in the past, but not today.
John Askey's side have just fallen short. Right now, though, Adam Virgo, it is York's moment in the sun. Well, it's been a long, hard, difficult season for York City. But look what it means to the travelling fans that have come down here today. I wouldn't say they were at their best, and I felt that Macclesfield, over the course of 90 minutes, his side were better. In key moments in the game, in front of goal, they weren't good enough. And defensively, conceded poor goals. But look what it means to him. He will now take this on for next season. You have to. Players will be disappointed today with the, the way that they conceded those goals. But as I've said time and time again, Adam, Wembley's only a place for winners. And congratulations to York City. Well, the Minster men have done it at the National Stadium.